Hi, this is Yolanda Van Veen, and in this segment we're going to talk about how to keep crows out of the garden. Now we have a lot of crows on our property and they're very menacing. I can't help but look at quite a few in a tree and not think about the birds movie because they're just so creepy. But crows are animals just like any other animals. And I believe all animals have a purpose on this earth and we shouldn't harm them in any way. But we can set boundaries for them. And so with crows, you got to remember they're very intelligent. Crows actually can mimic um, different sounds, different birds. They've even found that crows can live kind of like parrots a little bit and they'll mimic what people say. So they're very smart. So they'll remember things. So whatever you try to do to rid your garden of crows, it never works forever because it seems like they will find a reason to come back. But there's a few tricks that I've learned over the years that help a bit. First off, if you've got a bunch of crows in your front yard or in your yard and they're digging things up or causing havoc, taking your hose and spraying them and chasing them away, it doesn't really help in the long term. But a lot of times if you do it consistently, they will remember that your house is not a fun house to hang out at and they might avoid it. Another trick that people have found that works really well, but I've got so much property, I don't think it would work because there's just too much area to cover, but just hanging CD discs around your yard. Just the reflection from the CD um, will scare the birds because they don't know what it is. And a lot of times, birds and animals, if they look at a reflection of themselves and it's a little bit distorted, it scares them and they will leave the area. So, and also when they're flying around through the trees, if they're hanging, it'll distort their vision a bit. And especially on a sunny day, the prisms and the colors will make it a no-fly zone and they might actually avoid that tree. In the end, I found that the crows are gonna be here whether I really mess with them or not. And then I would just try to live with them naturally. And if you have a big area, that um, you want them to stay away from. If you've got a flower bed where they're digging things up, if you've got corn that they're getting into, some say scarecrows work, some say that jack-o'-lanterns work, but in the end, we have neighbors too. They've just built a big fence over the top of the corn and they've protected the whole entire crop from the birds getting near it.